Question number six. So question number six, guys, wants us to try to evaluate the transformation of coordinates, okay? So when doing this, guys, here's some helpful information that you can see, okay? That if you see a number with the X that's inside of the parentheses, that's positive, that means you shift to the left, okay? If you see a negative number beside of the X inside of the parentheses, that means you shift to the right, okay? If you see a number on the outside of the parentheses and it's positive, that means you go up. And if you see a number on the outside of the parentheses, okay, that um, and it's negative, that means you go down, all right? But what does that information really mean? So let me help you to understand what that means, okay? So the question says, f of x has a vertex at negative 3 and 5. So when it says it has a vertex at negative 3 and 5, it's saying that all points are going to coincide or meet at the So as I said to before, guys, this will be stating that all points will coincide or meet at negative 3 and 5. So negative 3 for the x would be approximately over here. Positive 5 for the y would be approximately right here. So this will be the point negative 3, 5, all right? So it says g of x is equal to f of x minus 5 minus 3. What is the vertex of g of x, okay? So when I'm doing this, guys, I need to try to evaluate what the vertex of this would be. However, a lot of times persons just assume it's just these numbers on the inside. But this is actually telling me how to transform my f of x to turn it into g of x, all right? So this is telling me the transformation, okay? So when I'm evaluating this, guys, all right, I need to try to evaluate what it's telling me to do, okay? So whenever you see this type of transformation, guys, the number on the inside tells you a direction, so the number on the inside tells me if I'm going either left or right, okay? However, whenever I look at that number on the inside, I always need to do the opposite of that number, okay? The number on the outside of that transformation tells me another direction, but that direction is up or down, okay? And that direction, you do not do the opposite of it, all right? So it's kind of like when you do vertex, okay? So when I look at this negative 5, normally that means I would be going to more of the negative side, which would be going to the left, all right? However, because it's inside the parentheses, I have to do the opposite of that number. So instead of going to the left 5 times, I'm going to go to the right 5 times. So that's why this means that when you see a negative, it means you go to the right, okay? So I'm going to go to the right. One, two, oh, so uh, technically that, sh that should have been three. So one, two, three, four, five, okay? So now I'm going to do exactly what it says on the outside, which means that I would go down three times because it's a negative three, all right? A negative three would mean I would go down one, two, three. So technically, I would be right here. But without graph and paper, that's pretty hard to try to figure out what that coordinate is, all right? So let me show you an easier way that you can do without using graph paper, all right? Because we won't be able to figure this out easily without using graph paper, all right? So I have a coordinate, negative 3, 5, okay? So I need to transform it using this right here, okay? So that negative 5, I need to do the opposite of that. So that means that this negative 5 should technically be a positive 5. Because it's inside the parentheses, that means that I'm only changing my x by adding 5 to it. So again, I'm only changing x by adding 5, all right? This number that's on the outside, the negative 3, I do exactly the same. And because I don't do the opposite, I'm going to subtract 3 from my y. Because it's on the outside, that means it changes only the y, 
Okay? So this new coordinate would be negative 3 plus 5 is positive 2. And 5 minus 3 is positive 2. All right? So that's what the new coordinate or this coordinate would be 2, 2. And that's the result. Okay? So again, guys, I showed you how to do it without the usage, usage of graph paper, which was pretty difficult. So this is the way that I would do it if I did not have graph paper. All right? So let's try the next one, guys. All right? So again, guys, let's use the easier method, guys, because we don't have any graph paper to try to evaluate this accurately. Okay? So in this case, guys, I only see a number on the outside of that parentheses. Okay, so that means your x value stays the same. So whatever my x value is right here, I'm going to bring it down. It's going to stay the same. Okay, here I see a number on the outside. So because there's a number on the outside which tells me up or down, I'm go and do I do the opposite of that? No, I'm going to do exactly as what I see. So I'm going to add 3, but I'm going to only add 3 to my y value, okay? So negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2. So my answer for this transformation is negative 4, negative 2, all right? So again, pretty easy, right? So let's look at the next one. So the next one, guys, we have a coordinate, 6, 5, and I need to transform it using this right here, all right? Because, again, this is the transformation, all right? But when I look at this transformation, do I see a number on the inside? Yes, I see a number on the inside. And if we remember, the number on the inside tells you the direction, which is left or right, okay? But we always need to remember to do the opposite, okay? So normally, this would mean that I'm going to the right two times because it's a positive two. But because I'm doing the opposite, that means I'm going to go to the left two times or technically subtract two, okay? So am I going to subtract two from my x or my y? From my x. And why do I subtract it from my x? Because it's inside of the parentheses, okay? Do I see a number on the outside of that parentheses? No. Okay, so that means my y value is going to stay the same. I'm going to just bring it down. Okay, so when I calculate 6 minus 2, I get 4, and my 5, I bring it down. Okay, so again, guys, that would be my answer.